between 30 and 50, you have to gap her. If you don't, it's over. Yo, what's good, YouTube? Hey, man. Y'all know why we here today. The one and only. Yeah, she's different. She's different. That's that's all that's all I'ma say. Yeah, she's different. Let's get right into it. And here's the star of the show, Shakari Richardson. The time she ran the semifinal, only three women in history have oh, ever run faster than on a... Who should we look for at the Olympics for Team USA in the 100 meters? It's the answer is simple. It's Shakari Richardson. Let's get right. Is she who's going to Tokyo? We're about to find out. Hmm. is on out. Here she comes. That is nuts. That is nuts. She ran that time lead into a headwind. The wind switched on them. Listen, that is nuts. To be winning during the regular season and in Europe. And the crazy thing is, her, Shakari, and Jamie Oliver are training partners. Like that's that's crazy. You need a training party about one, two? No, nah, let's run that back. Her top end is like. Her top end is unmatched. Like, you think you out, and then all of a sudden, somebody just blow by you. Like, I know that's frustrating. I'm telling you right now, if her start gets even slightly better, and this is not shade, this is not shade on her. And I'm pretty sure, like, she knows this, too. And everybody in the track world knows this. If her start, which I know it could, gets slightly better, she will break the world record. She will break the world record. For sure, hands down. Like, I, I believe that. Easy. And she would break it easy. Like, if she had the start that Jamie Oliver had, she would have broke the world record in that race right there. And they ran into a headwind and she still went 10-8. Like look, she, she in the back and then all of a sudden, just right here, she just started stepping. Like I'm, I'm trying to understand Right here. This is like, I want to say, probably 30 meters. Yeah. Yeah, it's like 30 meters. This is when she caught her. She caught her at 70 mark. That's crazy. Right here. She's like, what would you say? Third, fourth, something like that. I feel like right here <laughs> at like at this point you have to start separating from her if you don't separate from her there's a problem you have like between 30 and 50 you have to gap her if you don't it's over she's coming to get you just know if you don't gap her, she's coming to get you. I don't care how fresh you think your legs is. I don't care how much in shape you think you are. I don't care how mentally prepared you think you are. That goes out the window. She's coming to get you. At this point, like for instance, okay, so JB Oliver's in first. JB Oliver at this point needs to be right here. 
at this at this marker. She needs to be there. At that point, I feel like it will probably been a little too far. But I'm never going to count her out. But I'm saying that's that's the gap that you need to put between her. And it's going to be hard to do that. Because that means you need to be running 6-7 as a woman. You need to be running 6-7 in the 60. <laughs> to, to do that type of damage against her. Because look at that. And her top side mechanic is nuts. Like her top side, like knee lift and all that is like unmatched. Like she has like perfect form. She has ideal form for a woman. That's how you should want to run if you're a woman sprinter. Let's run it back one more time. We're about to find out. There she comes. She be running sub 11s like. That's crazy. She ran that time lead That's into crazy. a headwind. The wind switched on them. Listen, it's a That's wild, man. That's wild. Winning during the regular season. She did that though. She did that. And she been running fast all season. Cause we was down in Florida in like April, and then, if I'm not mistaken, I think she ran 10-7 in April. In April, and that's like that's crazy. Because starting off that early, like professionals, that's like you know early for us or whatever. But to start off that early, running that fast, and to be able to hold it, and still was able to run faster. At certain meets, like that's that's crazy, man. But nah, she deserved everything she got coming for. Her. But uh, man, that was a uh, that was crazy though. But shout out my shout out my home girl Tiana Daniels, man. Shout out T. You know, she don't really get a lot of credit in the track world either. But you gotta give her respect, and she continue to make these teams continue to do what she need to do. So shout out her for sure. But I want y'all to comment. I want y'all to comment below. Who y'all think gonna win gold, silver, and bronze? And give me the times. Give me the times. Uh, it's gonna it's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be a good one for sure. You know, another another fast race. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited for the women's hundred. But uh, let me know what y'all think. I'm definitely gonna look out in the comments, man. But once again, I appreciate y'all rocking with your boy, and I'm out.